Hey folks, this is IOE throwing back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is IMAC. He's in the Charioteer. This is a tier 8 game on Mountain Pass. And um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and kick this game off. Um, so before I do, I do want to remind you guys, like shameless self-promotion time, that I am streaming uh, a lot, actually. The, the schedule is now set, uh, unless my job changes or my hours change drastically, I will be streaming every day, or every day at the posted times, is what I'm going to say. It's three times a week at night and three times a week in the mornings. And so whether you're, you, you know, in one of those countries where you're going to see me in the morning or, one of those, or you're around North America somewhere and you might want to watch at night, you should have a time where you can catch the stream if you want to. Um, yeah. And eventually I, I am planning on doing some World Tanks. I haven't done World Tanks with, with um, subscribers or, or fans in a long time and I really want to do another one. So we're going to. As, <laughs> how Mike goes ahead and just knocks two people. The Charioteer is such a great tank. Um, so technically it's a tank destroyer. But it's a lot like a Cromwell with a really amazing gun on it. That's pretty much how you want to be playing this thing. Um, you can dart from place to place to place and have huge impacts over the entire game. Or you can sit like he is and just you know focus down one spot. As long as you keep that gun singing, then you can dish out a ton of damage. That does rely on your enemies more or less just walking into your line of fire though, which doesn't always happen. And unfortunately, he gets spotted there and then uh, <laughs> a little bit of fire is returned upon him. Though, if he had managed to land the shot and returned, it would have taken out the WZ-111 because he was on less than three. Yeah, but 300 health. Um, sorry for the on him, of course. Uh, this is not all that early in the morning, and uh, so apparently my, my body is just uh, inside. I'm actually tired right now. Ow! That, that hurt. <laughs> that was, of course, the SU who was most likely camped up on this ridge up here. Uh, way out of view range, but not out of shot range. And so... Yeah, he, he's he's gonna it's gonna be an issue. Um, he's definitely gonna be waiting for us to pop back out again. So we're gonna wait for him to shoot somebody else, like this WZ maybe. Nope. We're, why are you firing a H E? Yeah, I mean the, the front of the Centurion is pretty soft. I didn't think it was that soft. Oh. Oh. I see. Those are hash rounds. I was thinking that they were actual HE rounds. Uh, it's just like it's, it's it's not that soft on the front. But hash hash makes it a little different. Um, I of course have managed to forget what rounds this thing fires as it's premium. Ooh, as he goes ahead and hits the tracks, that's gonna suck. That is a ton of money for 17 damage. That's unfortunate. I do like what he's gonna, done with the gun rail because of the fact that he's painted it blue. Uh, but it's underneath the camo. It uh, does look pretty cool. And see, so he just looks for the last shot. Okay. Maybe you should give up on the Hesh rounds. Maybe you want to be firing something other than Hesh for the rest of the game. Because that cost you a lot <laughs> for not all that much damage and it was a centurion it wasn't even like you know an action x if all that had been for an action x yeah i can see why it was worth taking out for a regular centurion mm, not really no um teams are locked dead even and we're just looking for an opening somewhere where we can put some damage downfield and kill something. Um, looks like a ton of them are pushing up uh, through the uh, through this zone. I used to have a name for this. 
but I can't remember what that is right now, so we're just gonna go with that zone because, yeah, right? Uh, we are gonna speed this up a little bit so this don't take forever as he's gonna get himself positioned before he even thinks about taking a shot. Um, he's gonna get himself into a covered position. He knocks down a tree. I don't like the fact they knocked down the tree. I think that was a mistake, but the rest is I quite enjoy. Ooh, as he's firing Hesh again, looking for those soft weak spots. Nothing is soft on a KV4 though, so he only does 128 damage. Whereas he was looking to punch the round through and do a lot more than that. It being a KV4 means it can't see anything, so he's pretty okay sitting up here and firing down. Looks like he's got ooh, a shot at the lower plate or maybe the side of the tank. Um, and he doesn't actually end up getting either one because he wasn't loaded in time. Um, the camel net is going to help a lot with, you know, people trying to spot him out. Uh, the VK, I, I just, I don't know if he was not paying attention and just shows us his lower glacius thinking, it'll be okay. It was not okay for him. <laughs> and is, that is a dead VK 7501. Now, his wreck is being pushed around as the KV-4 is looking to use it for cover. If you can actually hit him in the cheek of the turret above the uh, the gun mantle, that would be a, a great way to pat him. Or if you could hit him in the capoa. But unfortunately, that last shot went a bit sideways and did not strike what he was aiming. That shot, though, went in, obviously. Um, and somebody else lands a great shot on him. And we're going to be loaded in time and take out the T-34! But we bounced. Oh lord. You know, this is an amazing game. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> but I'm wondering if maybe the game I saw the stats for is maybe mixed up. Because this doesn't feel like <laughs> a breakout game. Right? <laughs> okay, back to the middle. Uh, looking for the SU or maybe the um, the Lanson or one of the other tanks on the enemy team that just haven't been spotted yet. They've got to be around here somewhere though. Um, I mean, I guess they could be just sitting back and defending. We do have full health low, so that's going to help a lot. Um, actually, we got a few tanks on full health or close to it. So that is actually going to help out quite a bit. Our T28 is, is you know, trying to get everybody to charge. It's a little ironic that T28 wants to charge. But, you know, we're, we're going to speed things up a little bit. Because otherwise, it could be a long fight of nothingness. Uh, zipping past the T28, if you, uh, if you, you know, nicked him and rammed him slightly, you'd kill yourself. So just don't do that. That would be bad. Ooh, the Lansing spot over that side, huh? Do we have a shot on? It looks like the answer is no. But then again, apparently nobody else does either, except for our AMX who's about to die. Oh, as the Lansing decides to come out side on to us, um, unfortunately, we flubbed the shot. The next one is going to go in, though, since apparently he's just going to sit there and wait to die. Um, I don't know what he was thinking, but okay, cool. Um, that's, that's a dead lands in. <laughs> hmm. Maybe, maybe that wasn't the best strategy for that guy, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, there was an SU-130 around here. I actually think he's on the, the bottom side now. Uh, he was on the top side, but I think he actually slid down. And yep, he went around. Um... Looking for that corner. Is he going to blind shot this? He is. I wonder if he connected with anything. We're going to have to find out in the uh, the battle report if he connected with anything. Meanwhile, the SU is taking a beating. And probably giving one out too, though. Uh, one shot into the Karn Panzer over there. Hand Panzer, sorry. And there wouldn't be one. But uh, nope, that's not what happens. In fact gets the kill and then we're going to take a little low on the inside as we pass the low heading for the, the third turn here he's going to stop 
at the turn instead of rounding in the corner. Um, nice cute little bush up there by the rock. Could betray, you know, could be ho holding a, an STRV for all we know. Oh, garb, garb, that's not what I wanted to see there. As we almost got shot in the side by a J Panther 2, who then decided he actually wanted to really shoot the go instead. And so instead of shooting a little health target he can kill, he goes after the go and doesn't even scratch it. Cool. <laughs> With over 4,000 damage, we're looking for. There's the artillery. So we didn't hit him with that blind shot if we hit anybody. Um, artillery is going to be looking to shoot at our cam panzer. Which just sounds weird to say that way. Uh, nope, nope, we're just going <laughs> to drive by assassination. Oh, we spared the SGRV who's not paying attention. He's actually looking the other way at our AMX. I don't know if he was shooting our AMX. I, I think he actually he, he did hit the AMX at least once, as I remember him having a lot more health than that. But uh, that is it. Game is over, and uh, we're going to jump over to the bad results and see what he got himself. As that was a good game. Mastery, Ace Tanker, Spotter, Bruiser, Fire for Effect, Confederate, and High Caliber. Yeah. Yeah, he he definitely deserved that. <laughs> well done, sir. 1,300 base experience. <laughs> Almost 5,000 damage. Wait. But it said we only did 4,000, right? Necessary. No. So we must have blind shot somebody at some point, and I didn't notice. I wonder who we blind shotted. Um, or maybe I was wrong about the damage at the end of the game. I don't remember that shot. Maybe that is the blind shot we had. Somebody will n will tell me in the comments how wrong I am and, and which, which shot was our blind shot. But um, well done overall. Great job, Hallimark. Thank you so much for saying it in. Uh, that's interesting. <laughs> I've, I've never seen this happen. But okay, cool. Um, yeah, so overall, you lost a little bit of money. It was a good game, though, and it was fun to watch. Thank you so much for watching it with me. Don't forget, on Twitch, um, Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursday, more Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursday nights, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings, I'll be streaming. So if one of those it's your fancy, then please come on down and uh, yeah, enjoy the show. Uh, I'll be streaming off and on on Saturdays as I get them available to stream. Uh, it will be wife dependent, so it's what I've been there. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. This is IOE Throughout.